Since planning began for the Portland-Milwaukee Light Rail Transit Project, the project has worked with partners and community groups to mitigate for construction impacts and to help restore wetlands. The project worked to avoid impacts to wetlands and waterways by considering all prudent and feasible alternatives. For impacts that couldn't be avoided, we are mitigating for them by providing new or improved habitat within the same watershed. Aided by $1.7 million in project mitigation funds, shallow water habitat along the west bank of the Willamette River at South Waterfront is on the verge of a comeback. Designed and implemented by the City of Portland, this restoration project has reshaped, cleaned, and replanted more than an acre of riverbank to create more than 25,000 square feet of improved habitat. This restoration project cut back the bank into a much more naturalistic shape, removing about 27,000 tons of concrete, contaminated soil, and debris. What we're standing on here now is a shallow, um, shallow water habitat, and it, it attempts to imitate shallow water habitat elsewhere in this section of the river um, that provides refuge for juvenile salmon as they come down the river in the spring from bigger predatory fish. Farther up the Willamette, the project has also helped to remove 33 tons of derelict contaminated pilings along the east bank of the river, just south of the St. John's Bridge, making the river safer for aquatic life and navigation. More recently, the project, with Union Pacific Railroad and the City of Portland, also helped to replace an old culvert at Crystal Springs Creek, with one more conducive to natural water flows and healthy habitat for salmon species. Just downstream from the new culvert, the Portland-Milwaukee project is also helping to restore over an acre of Crystal Springs Creek wetlands in Westmoreland Park. With help from the project, the city and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers have removed a shallow concrete-lined pond, which resulted in potentially lethal high water temperatures for native fish, and restored a length of stream channel equivalent to three neighborhood blocks. Restoring the natural flows to Crystal Springs as well as uh, surrounding wetlands restores biodiversity and helps fish and native plants in the area. We couldn't have done this level of restoration without the assistance of TriMet. At the border of Multnomah and Clackamas counties, the project worked with the Johnson Creek Watershed Council to enable creek restoration at the Southeast Tacoma Street Johnson Creek Station. The project and the council have also worked together to find room for an interpretive boardwalk at the site. It is um, installing uh, what we call large woody debris, which is a fancy term for logs, uh, uh, with our root wads facing into the channel, which provide uh, cover, shelter for, hap for, uh, for salmon and places for insects to, to grow, which provide the basis for the food chain for, for salmon. Uh, and then we've uh, excavated a side channel which provides uh, refuge uh, when the flows at Johnson Creek are high in the winter where salmon can get off the main channel. Really a great partnership to work with a public transportation provider and a small nonprofit. I think it's a really innovative partnership. In Milwaukee, the project replaced the culvert of Crystal Creek and is replacing invasive plant species with natives at the culvert entrance. On Kellogg Lake, the project provided funds to Milwaukee Presbyterian Church to remove invasive plant species on the banks of the lake. And the project will implement more bank restoration when construction of the Kellogg Bridge is complete. The Portland-Milwaukee Light Rail Transit Project is scheduled to open September 12, 2015. For more information, please visit trimet.org pm.